The most awkward place you've ever been approached by a fan? I was once sat on a toilet and a bloke pulled himself over like that. <laughs> no way. True story. Strongest item you've ever been asked to sign? Strongest item? Yeah, I just had some pictures go through me. Strangest. Um, probably... I've been asked one of them quite a few times, but I'm not going to make Probably a, a man's penis. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I didn't actually. It was really <laughs> intoxicating. The best city you have ever travelled to for a darts tournament? Aldershot. Why is that? <laughs> you ever been there? <laughs> no. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many nice places and there's so many bad places. Um, I go for Vegas. First time I ever went there was the best time. Good answer. The venue with the best atmosphere? In my opinion, Blackpool, World Match Play, my opinion. What would you rather, hit a televised nine data or win a floor tournament? Um, normally they hit against me nine darters. Um, probably, yeah, win a floor tournament. Name four sportsmen or women, living or dead, that you've most liked round a dinner table. I probably would pick it, but not for the reasons everyone would expect me to pick that person. Muhammad Ali. Um, um, I'm just trying to think of people that are really interesting and weird. Um, me. Um, who would I pick? Um, I think actually out of darts. I, in fact, we just named four dart players. I'll put Jockey Wilson. Eric Bristow, Cliff Lazarenko, and um, who else would I put in those? I put Eric in it, didn't I? Eric, Jockey Wilson, John Lowe, and Cliff Lazarenko. See you the argument first. What age do you think you'll play it? You're playing to, and how many world titles do you think you can manage by then? One would be nice, and I'll probably be playing till I'm about. 70. Fair play. My wife, my wife likes presents. Who was the first person that told you you could make it? Um, probably probably my uncle, in fairness. He, he was the one that sort of forced me to go to the UK Open, so yeah, my uncle. Robert Ever. Turning point victory in your career? Well, World Championships, obviously, winning that changed my life. Why? I don't know, maybe I could have afforded Was it the money? <laughs> you could have afforded a few more things. Nah, but it's, it's the one, probably what I always wanted to win, but yeah, maybe come a bit too early and all in the career, which broke me a little bit. The most memorable way you celebrated a major title after a tournament? Go home and see me kids, because that's as glamorous as what it gets, be. but yeah, it's the best one ever. Best match you've ever been involved in? Probably the Michael Van Gogh one semi-final of the Worlds. Because uh, my me, me bum was going like a good and yeah, didn't know what I was doing. The venue with the best atmosphere? Definitely Blackpool. Blackpool, because it's tiny, it bounces off the ceilings. It's an amazing place. Is it easier to make a living from darts now because of the money or harder because of the rising standards and competition? Um, it's a tough one, isn't it? Nah, it's probably. The, the standard is getting better but you've always got to back yourself and if you didn't, you'd be no good. So, um, no, nah, definitely um, easier. The biggest challenge of playing darts? Me trying to practice at the minute. Novel, he's gone. Yeah, probably, yeah, me trying to practice. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes today.